there's a couple of alien projects in the works. Of course, there's a, a movie project, I believe it's called Alien Romulus, that oh, Fede God. Alvarez is directing. Yep. So that's getting some excitement and some buzz behind it. But did you also know there's an alien TV series coming to FX? The series that's also, the network that's also bringing us my most anticipated show in a long time, Shogun. They also did Sons of Anarchy, one of my top three favorite shows of all time. Anyway, well, a major casting announcement was just broke. Timothy Oliphant is now joined that series. This comes from the folks that coming soon who wrote the following. Acclaimed actor Timothy Oliphant was revealed to have joined the cast of Noah Hawley's. He was, of course, behind Legion, uh, which a lot of people were very, very much liked. Uh, upcoming Alien series. Deadline reported that the Deadwood lead will be starring opposite Sidney Chandler in the forthcoming show. No official details involving his character have been made known, but the outlet sources suggest that he is playing a synth named Kirsch, who serves as a mentor to Wendy, Chandler's metahuman character. This isn't all fans' first time working with effects, as he had the actor had previously played a recurring character in Argo season four. All right. So the first thing I should probably mention is I am really surprised there are two alien projects coming because I don't know if anybody cares about aliens anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't mean aliens as in generic, you know, UFO outer space. I mean the, the actual alien. But when's the last time we had something that was good with alien? Aliens. Aliens is pretty much it, right? <laughs> Some people like Prometheus and that's great. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know a number of people who like Prometheus. I think probably a lot of people watching the show right now like Prometheus. I did. I mean, not. it's a movie. It's the first alien yeah, that, thing they, I saw. They, they was can't, that yeah, the that first alien thing? Yeah. You was Prometheus? Yeah. Did you ever get around to watching Aliens? No, I still haven't watched Aliens. I went and saw Alien at yeah. Zenespia, okay. and everyone made fun of me because I was genuinely terrified and kept screaming. Um, and then I still need to see they Aliens. Should, that, it's a terrifying movie. Yeah. Aliens. That's when it gets all a like very different kind yeah, of sci-fi action. What? Yeah, yes. right? sci-fi. And one of the greatest sci-fi sci action yeah. films of all time. Alien. Who <sighs> Aliens is fabulous. Spooky. You got to watch okay. it. It's so good. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Guys, you know, as a small business owner, I am finding myself having to be in negotiations all the time, whether it's with new contractors, vendors, or even agencies that represent our company. Now, I don't like to go into these negotiations unarmed, so I found the perfect class on Masterclass, The Art of Negotiation by Chris Voss, a real-life former FBI lead hostage negotiator. Taking this class on Masterclass made me feel a lot more equipped and confident going into all these various negotiations. I have to do on a regular basis. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. An annual membership starts at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, insight, and much more. There are over 180 classes to pick from, everything from filmmaking with Martin Scorsese all the way to cooking with the great Gordon Ramsay. In Masterclass, you will find practical lessons that you can apply to your life and work. So guys, get unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a John Campion Show listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash campia. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash campia. But I mean, Predator versus Alien. Alien yeah, uh, Covenant. Alien 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 you know, Covenant, what the hell was going on with Michael Fassbender and that? I it just, I don't know. I, I honestly, I just haven't felt a lot of people like, yeah, you know, we need more alien, but here we got a comment. Yeah. And Listen, some if stuff Disney can have a Disney princess show up somewhere. <laughs> they're gunsta. There's a, if there's a musical What is number, a xenomorph if not? <laughs> I'm going to fall out of my seat. So we got the Fede Alvarez thing coming, but I'll tell you what. Listen, point me to a Timothy Oliphant show that has been garbage i mean deadwood was amazing yeah a ton of people like his uh well the one he did with walton goggins uh, justified 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 um i mean santa clarita diet oh that show oh, was I, amazing was i know some that people show. that yeah. like lost their minds over that show i was furious when it got canceled <laughs> i wanted to flip every table i came across <laughs> that show was wonderful <laughs> he even had an amazing guest appearance in the good place yep playing himself which was just awesome he was on the office he's great oh, oh yeah, that's right that's right danny danny uh... the one they tried to hire away yeah, yeah. um he's magnificent i absolutely mm -hmm. love the guy 
And him joining this makes me go from, why are they making that show to, okay, I'll check that show out. I'm kind of interested. Uh, Chris, we're now hearing that Timothy Oliphant's joined this Alien series. Have you, did you even know this series existed before this story came out? I did know this series existed because my friend works for Disney. <laughs> so, well, there's that. I did know that part. Um, I mean, I'll watch anything with him. I love him. He's great. I have, I have nothing else to say. When he was that bounty hunter in The Mandalorian, hmm, hi, what's up? He was so good in that, He's too. He's so good. Oh. So good, so cute. He was one of the best parts of that season. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought he was really good in that. Anyway, uh, one casting, it's amazing, uh, can take you from being not interested in the series. Suddenly, I'm really kind of curious into seeing what he does in this. So I'm looking forward to it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.